Hey, you know what? I made love to your grandma. How am I supposed to have a nice day now? I made love to your grandma. <laughs> Can I help you? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? But help yourself first. You might have this delicious panini. Pastrami and pepper jack caught off the press. What do you say? I'm fine, thanks. You all right, honey? You look bluer than a pair of Levi's. No, I, I said I'm fine. <laughs> Lower than the Dead Sea. I'm fine. Sadder than my Uncle Gildenstern after a bunch of anarchists broke into his house and spray painted black X's all over his gazebo. What's your problem, woman? I know these randos talk to me when I'm at the park. I just came here for some peace and quiet to think about the horrible mess I've made in my life. Oh, come on. Don't be such a pooper. <laughs> You've got things on your mind. And a silly old lady you'll probably never see again. What are you waiting for? Spill the beans. Squeeze the orange. I'll sever the sequoia. Why? You want the beans? Here's the beans. I cheated on my girlfriend for three years last night. Some girl I didn't even know. I just got lost in the heat of the moment. I forgot about what was most important. I really screwed up, and I don't know what to do. So when are you going to tell her? Huh? Oh. When are you going to tell her? I don't know. Mom? I don't know. And if I tell her, she'll probably end the relationship. Oh, Lord. I know. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. When I was a young girl, I did my rounds. <laughs> there wasn't a hot guy in the neighborhood that paid, didn't pay a visit to these private chambers. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs commitment at 21? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> but the sex was just icing on the cake. I mean, Lord, the things we did with asbestos back in the 70s. <laughs> asbestos? What? You're nuts, lady! No, I get that a lot. It's beside the point. I might be a crazy old kook, but I've still got 83 years worth of living and learning and lovemaking under this belt. You're not wearing your belt. It's a metaphor. No wonder your love life's in the point. Listen, the point is this. I've been there, I've done that, and I know what it takes to solve a situation like this. But first, I'm gonna need you to do two things. What? Number one, take a bite of this panini. But I just met you, I don't know if it's poison or not, I, I can't. Do you like this girl or not? Fine. <laughs> this, is, this is so good! Do you mind if I take another bite? I do. <laughs> Next, I need to think you do 12 push-ups. Why 12 specifically? None of your business. What are you waiting for? Drop down, give me a dozen. Come on, man, what is this? My grandma could do better than this, and she's been dead since Pearl Harbor. Come on, better, faster, stronger. Let's go. Let's go. All right, God damn it! I did what you want. Now what? All right, here's what you do. You go to her house. You tell her everything. But first, first you go buy her chocolate and flowers. Ladies love chocolate and flowers. And the truth. They usually like the truth, too. <laughs> All that at once, and this girl won't know what hit her. So, uh, what are you waiting for? Um, oh my god. Oh my god, that's, that's her over there. She's, she's waving at me. Um, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? What, what, what should I do? Um, well, forget the chocolate and flowers. Just uh, go for gold. Tell it straight. She won't just Nick! I didn't think I'd run into you here! Oh my god, hi! Look! Hi, Catherine. Um... Look! There's a movie coming out tonight! It's got like 98% of Rotten Tomatoes. You, me, let's go! Catherine, I cheated on you. What? <laughs> there, I went to Mark's party last night, and I met this girl, and I made this really stupid mistake, and you know that I just love you, and... <laughs> just... please forgive me. Astrami. Hey! I made love to your grandma. How am 
am I supposed to have a nice day now? You just get me to your grandma. You know what, cop? Grandma. I think you should know. I made love to your grandma.